Hi everyone, it's Jillian. Welcome to my channel and another crochet tutorial. For today's tutorial, you're going to chain in multiples of 8 plus 1. To begin, I have 25 stitches. For row 1, you're going to skip the first stitch and into the second stitch, which is the second chain from the hook, you're going to make a single crochet. And you're going to make one single crochet into every chain until you get to the end of your row. And that is the end of row one. For row two, I'm going to add a new color. Chain one and turn. And into the first stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet. I'm going to make one single crochet into every stitch until I get to the end of the row. And that is the end of row two. For row three, you're going to chain one and turn, and you're going to re repeat row two by making one single crochet into every stitch until you get to the end of the row. And that is the end of row three. For row four, I'm going to be adding a new color. Chain one. And for rows four and five, you're going to repeat row two. So continue repeating. Repeating row two for two more rows with a new color and I'm going to meet you at the end of row five to begin row six. And that is the end of row five. For row 6, you're going to drop the color that you're working with and you're going to pick up the first color, chain 1, and turn. You're going to make one single crochet into the first 5 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You're going to skip the first two stitches, one, two, and around that third stitch, you're going to make a front post double treble stitch. To make a front post double treble, you're going to wrap your hook four times. One, two, three, four. And around that third stitch, you're going to make your front post stitch. You're going to pull two loops off at a time. One, two, three, four. Five. And you're going to repeat your front post stitch one more time. You're going to wrap your hook four times. Two, three, four. And around the next stitch, you're going to make your front post stitch. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to skip two stitches and you're going to make one single crochet into the next six stitches. And this will be the start of your repeat. Four, five, six. You're going to skip six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And around the seventh stitch, you're going to make your front post double treble. One, two, three, four.
two, three, four, five. And you're gonna make one more front pull stitch around the next stitch. One, two, three, four. You're gonna skip two stitches, one, two, and you're gonna start your repeat again by making one single crochet into the next six stitches. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna skip six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six. And around the seventh stitch, you're gonna make your front pull stitch. One, two, three, four. And you're gonna make your front pull stitch one more time around the next stitch. You're gonna skip two stitches, one, two, and you're gonna make a single crochet into the last stitch. And that is the end of row six. For row seven, chain one and turn. And you're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch all the way to the end of the row. And that is the end of row seven. For row eight, you're gonna drop the color you're working with and you're gonna bring up your second color, chain one and turn. You're gonna make one single crochet into the first five stitches. You're now gonna be working five rows below into row three and you're gonna make your front post triple treble around the third stitch. You're gonna skip the two stitches, one, two, and around the third stitch, that's where you're gonna place your front post stitch. Remembering to wrap your hook four times, one, two, three, four. You're gonna be pulling two loops off at a time. One, two, three, four and five and you're going to make a front post stitch around the next stitch You're going to skip two stitches and you're going to make one single crochet into the next stitch and this will be a repeat. The best way to know where to put your, your front post stitch is that it's directly above the stitches you made, the front post stitches you made in row one. This will be the stitch that you'll be making your front post stitches around, as you can see. And if you're unsure, you can always count. This is where your front post stitch is, and you can pull this back if you're unsure. One, two, three, four, five six and as you can see this is your seventh stitch wrap your hook four times
you're going to skip two stitches and you're going to repeat by making one single crochet into the next six stitches. Right here is your seventh stitch. Skip two stitches and make one single crochet into the last stitch. And that is the end of row eight. For row nine, you're going to chain one and you're going to repeat row seven. One single crochet into each stitch all the way to the end of the row. That is the end of row nine. For row 10, you're gonna drop the color you're working with and you're gonna pick up your third color, chain one. And for row 10, you're gonna be repeating row eight. You're gonna make one single crochet into the first five stitches. You're going to be working five rows below and you're going to skip the two stitches on the end, one, two, and you're going to make your front post stitch around the third stitch. One, two, three, four. You're going to make a front post stitch around the next stitch. You're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and make one single crochet into the next six. And you're going to make your front post stitch right here. This is going to be your seventh stitch. See how it's directly above the post stitch that you made right here. And for row 10, just keep on repeating row 8, and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row, you will have 3 stitches left. You're going to skip 2 and make 1 single crochet into the last stitch. And that is the end of row 10. For row 11, you're going to repeat row 7. You're going to chain 1 and turn your work, and you're going to make a single crochet into each stitch until you get to the end of your row. And that is the end of row 11. For this pattern, you're going to keep on repeating rows 7 and 8 for as many rows as you need. You're just going to be switching colors every two rows. 
As always, thank you for visiting my channel. Please like and subscribe for more video tutorials and I will see you in the next video.